Kia ora koutou. I'm Sarah Stock, one of the consultants from Learning Matters. Today I'm going to show you some quick phonological awareness activities that you can do around your home with your child. Phonological awareness is really important. It's one of the greatest predictors of future success in literacy. It's also something that is done away from print, so it can be really fun for children too. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, when we do phonological awareness activities, they're generally away from print because it's all about what you can hear. Um, however, if you're reading to a child, you know, that's fine. Um, so if you've got anything like Lindley Dodd or Dr. Seuss books or fun rhyming books in your house, you know, read those to your children and have fun with the rhyming words in there and maybe make up some of your own words as well. Um, you can also find everyday objects around the house and have a bit of a fun rhyming with them. It can be things from the toy box or things from your kitchen or your lounge. Um, okay guys, so we've got a bunch of objects here. I've got a rat, a fish, a pig, some keys, a can, ball, truck, jet, fan, koala, dish, pan, star, bug, uh, what's that, a carrot, duck, jug, Car, egg, cake, and a cat. Okay, so we'll have a little bit of a competition, yeah? Okay, first one to find an object that rhymes with cat. Rat. Okay, cool, one point for you. <laughs> All right. Okay, so cat and rat rhyme. Why don't you take the cat there too? Because they rhyme. They both have the at sound at the end. Cat, rat. Okay. Can you find an object that rhymes with jug? Bug. <laughs> nice <job>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, jug and bug. Um, Leo's the winner so far. <laughs> okay, I so got five. Jug, bug. Both have the ug sound at the end. They rhyme. Okay, my next one, dish, has the ish sound fish. at the end. What rhymes with dish? Fish. <laughs> Can you find something here that rhymes with car? Star. <laughs> You're like lightning. Okay, car and star. They have the r sound at the end. Cool, good job. Okay, can you find something that rhymes with pan? Can. Pan. <laughs> oh, yeah, that feels two things. Is there something here that rhymes with truck? Duck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job. Um, something else you can do with objects is actually sounding them out. Um, if you've got younger children at home, it's really important just to have not too many sounds in what you're doing. So for example, a lot of these objects only have three sounds. So b, a, g, for example. Okay, so can you please find the object? I'm going to give the sound and you are going to say the word and find where it is. Okay, are you ready? So the object I'm looking at right now is a p, e, g. Pig. It is a, <laughs> say it. Pig. Pig. Cool, good job. Okay, the next object I'm looking at is a Cat. Nice job. Okay, I'm looking at a j -et. jet. Nice. I can see a f a n. Bang. Good job. Okay. Uh, there is a st r. Star. Star. Nice. And I can also see a k a n. Can. Nice. And a f a g. Butter. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> in that activity, I gave the children the segmented words and they had to blend it back together. This time, I'm going to give them the word and they are going to segment it out. Can you please give me the sounds for car? Ah, uh, nice work. Okay, can you please give me the sounds for rat? R a t. Nice job. Okay, can you please give me the sounds for egg? Good, good. Good job. Cool, oh, I need to. Alright, can you please give me the sounds for dish? Dish. Nice job. Can you please give me the sounds for duck? Duck. Nice job. 
And can you give me some sounds for pan? P and mm. Good job. Last one, can you give me the sounds for fish? Fish. Nice. Um, this time I found some objects that are multisyllabic. And we're going to just clap out how many syllables are in the objects. Okay. Leo, do you want to put those on? Hey. <laughs> okay, can we clap out how many syllables are in sunglasses? Go. Sunglasses. Cool. How many syllables? Seven. Nice job. Okay, how many syllables in elephant? Elephant. How many? Nice. How many syllables in highlighter? Highlighter. Cool. How many in screwdriver? Screwdriver. You should like tweet. <laughs> we got ice cream. Ice cream. Okay. Hamburger. Hamburger. Okay, this time we're going to take a syllable away. So if I had sunglasses, but I took off the sun, what syllables have I got left? You've got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright. So yeah. if I've got screwdriver, but I take away the screw, what have I got left? Driver. Good job. If I've got highlighter, I've got highlighter. But I take off the high, what have I got left? Lighter. Good job. How many syllables in gun? Gun. I was just teasing. <laughs> I hope that you found these activities useful and that you can come up with some great ideas of things that you can do with your child whilst learning at home.